This is the Vivo Y53s, a sleek looking device with an impressive 64 megapixel camera, 8 gigs of RAM which is expandable to 11 gigs, the 3 watts fast charging and some more interesting specifications and an interesting price as well. What up guys, Izzy here and welcome to the channel. Today we are looking at a Vivo device, the Vivo Y53s. Believe it or not, this is actually my first time handling a Vivo device and I have to say, I'm actually impressed by a couple of things, but we'll get into that later. The Vivo Y53s is currently retailing for 131,000 Naira, no thanks to the exchange rate. The good thing is that if you're buying it now, you're going to be getting a 10,000 milliamps per hour power bank, that is if you're buying in Nigeria. So what is in the box of the Vivo Y53s? Aside the device, you get complete accessories that includes a 33W fast charger, a USB-C cable, and a pair of earphones, which is great to have, we don't usually get that in the box these days. The Vivo Y53s has a 4G and 5G variant, only the 4G variant is available for this region. This color is known as the deep sea blue, you also get it in the gorgeous fantastic rainbow. The Vivo Y53s is a durable phone with a plastic build and glass on the display. The rear finish is smooth, almost glossy, almost matte and a bit reflective. It also attracts a lot of smudges. You have its triple rear cameras on a rectangular bum to the top left of the rear. Its rear edges are curved and it makes it easy to handle. You have all its buttons on the right frame, that is the volume rocker and power buttons. The power button also doubles as a fingerprint scanner. So a side mounted fingerprint scanner which is pretty fast to unlock the device. Actually instant and accurate 99% of the time. You also get face unlock as an option for security which is equally fast but the fingerprint scanner is my preferred. You have the SIM slot at the top frame. It is a dual nano SIM slot with support for micro SD card for expansion. Its headphone jack is at the bottom frame where we also have the USB-C port and a mono speaker which I found pretty good with great sound quality. There is nothing on the left frame. The Vivo Y53s is a solid device with interesting features, most interesting which is the RAM expansion capacity. By default it comes with 8GB of RAM which is already plenty sufficient, but it is expanded by 3GB from its internal memory. By implication this device will barely lag when it comes to multitasking no matter what you throw at it, now that is pretty cool. It comes with 128GB of internal storage and you can expand that by microSD card if you need more. The Vivo Y53s runs Android 11 right out of the box and Vivo's Font Touch OS 11.1. Font Touch is a pretty lightweight UI, neat and almost bloatware free. It is very close to stock Android, much so you even get the multi-user functionality. The display on the Vivo Y53s is a 6.58 inches 1080p LCD display with a 20 by 9 aspect ratio and a display density of 401 pixels per inch. A pretty good looking LCD display which gets bright enough. You get 3 color profiles for the display settings, the default is standard, there is also professional and bright. It is a good display for consuming media, it has the water drop notch which houses a selfie camera. The processor on the Vivo Y53s is MediaTek's Helio G80, a gaming efficient processor which is pretty capable. It is the same processor you are going to find on the likes of the Samsung Galaxy A32 which is a similarly priced device. The Helio G80 being a gaming efficient processor, you can expect some decent gaming performance from the Vivo Y53s. It will handle your heavy titles as medium settings and play comfortably for the most part, with no heating concerns. The battery on the Y53s is a 5000mAh battery which is pretty much up to expectations. It will give you a whole day of battery life on a full charge even on heavy use. And speaking of charging, like we saw earlier, the Vivo Y53s comes with a 33W fast charger which powers it up from 0 to just over 50% in 30 minutes and 100% in just about an hour and 25 minutes from my tests. The cameras of the Vivo Y53s are a triple combination of a 64 megapixel main camera on the rear, 2 megapixel macro and 2 megapixel depth sensors. On the selfie camera we have a 16 megapixel shooter. I find the pictures from the rear cameras to be quite impressive with vibrant colors. Photos look sharp with enough detail. You don't get an ultra wide angle camera here, so no ultra wide shots. It has a decent level of background blur when you have the subject close enough. This is without portrait mode. 
With portrait mode on the rear camera, subject separation is not perfect, but you should be pretty satisfied with the results. With this macro camera, you can take some decent close-up shots, which is good enough for a 2 megapixel macro camera. Normal selfies look good, though sometimes you get the background a bit overexposed, but when it does it right, it looks really good. On portrait selfies like with the rear portraits, edge detection is not perfect, but it is acceptable. The Vivo Y53S does quite good in low light to give you better photos than what you would without its night mode. The Vivo Y53S is only capable of 1080p recording on both its selfie and the rear cameras. There is no optical image stabilization, but it relies on software. Okay, so you are looking at the video from the selfie camera and the 16 megapixel selfie camera of the Vivo Y53S, when we shooting at 1080p 30fps. Can do that for both the selfie and the rear cameras. Let me know what you think. The Vivo Y53S is a nice device with interesting features, most interesting being the RAM expansion capacity from 8GB to 11GB. I also find this rear camera performance to be quite impressive, and Funtouch OS is one of the good ones out there. So that is the Vivo Y53S and that is all from me. Do hit the thumbs up if you found this video helpful and also consider subscribing to the channel. Peace out.